In trigonometry, we also want to use the inverse trigonometric functions. These are above their respective trigonometric buttons. So if I zoom in again, you can see here's the sine button and above it in yellow we've got sine to the minus 1. Here's the cos button and above it in yellow we've got cos to the minus 1. Here's the tan button and above it in yellow we've got tan to the minus 1. And we access these using our yellow shift button. It's all nicely colour coded. So for example, if I want to find sine to the minus 1 of 0.5, I would go to the shift button, access my second function, then to the sine because it's got that sine to the minus 1 above it, and it gives us on the screen the sine minus 1 function and an open bracket. I now put in my number, so 0.5, close my bracket, press equals, and there we go. Sine to the minus 1 of 0.5 is 30. And it works exactly the same with the cos and the tan functions as well. So let me do a quick example with tan. So first we go to shift, then to tan, because it's got the tan minus 1 above. So tan minus 1, let's do 0.5 again. Okay. Close the bracket, press equals, and there we go. That is the tan for 0.5.